I used to think people who lived in houses like this were carefree. You no longer think so? Lady Isabella has a 500 pound secret. She mustn't sleep a wink. <laughs> she intrigues you. No. It's you that intrigues me. I could learn a great deal from you, if you'd let me. What are you doing here, Mrs. Quigley? I wanted to thank you. Not seeing you again will be all the thanks that I need. If it were only that simple. The information I guard for you grows larger by the day. <laughs> if I am to contain it, I will need further resources. I could have had your tongue cut out for less than I have paid you. It is not money I require, but introductions. You friends of high standing. <gasps> Emptying the coffers is one thing. But if I start parading you amongst our circle, I would be ostracized and ridiculed. You need not reveal my trade. I'm sorry, Lydia. But the Beaumont will simply not accept you. Persuade them. There's two more than you told me. Sturdy girls, too. I'll have to charge you an extra guinea. We agreed the price. But the extra coal and the candles. I want you to be comfortable in your hour of need. You're so thoughtful. I only have a few rules, girls. No orgies, flagellation, or bestiality. Otherwise, you are at liberty to entertain gentlemen callers as you wish. You have to play glass with them, then. <laughs> You're a brazen thing, aren't you? You remember the dark-haired girl I cared for? Charlotte Wells? Oh, Wells. Mm. Of course. Mm. Little Mackie's girl. <laughs> How have I come to this? Who is she? She was a special friend of my father. I seem unable to escape her. I didn't think her your friend. You have taste. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Charlotte, what would I have done without you these past days? You must visit Lady Isabella again. She is the key that will reopen Golden Square. She and her friends. We must win them to our side. Mm.